Rising crime is impacting communities across Metro Atlanta, and now the state attorney general is making some headlines for calling out a district attorney saying she is refusing to prosecute certain crimes. New at 6, Joe Hankey now verifying the facts and offering some very important context about all of this. Joe? Jeff and Cheryl, the district attorney in question is Deborah Gonzalez, the DA for Athens, Clark, and Oconee counties. On Monday, Attorney General Chris Carr suggested she may be violating her oath of office. In response, Gonzalez says Carr is playing politics. Our citizens deserve nothing less than the strongest possible sentences for those violent criminals who are wreaking havoc on our society. But unfortunately, there are some who have decided to pick and choose which laws they want to enforce. Attorney and General Chris Carr made that comment them. yesterday during a public safety meeting at the state capitol. So we wanted to verify our prosecutors in Georgia cherry picking the laws they enforce. Carr's comment came as he discussed the need to address violent crime and specifically gang crime. Then a state representative asked for specifics. In, in Athens in particular, the DA has written a memo saying what uh, particular misdemeanor she will or she won't enforce. There is a law uh, on the books in the state that uh, uh, has to do with violation of the oath of office that could be uh, considered although difficult. Today we contacted District Attorney Deborah Gonzalez's office and her staff sent this memo which does direct her staff to not prosecute simple marijuana possession, possession of user quantities of other drugs and possession of drug related objects. So we can confirm yes, in this case the DA is picking which laws affecting nonviolent crime to enforce. But there's important context to include here. The memo was dated January 1st when Gonzalez entered the DA's office and the memo was addressed to her office's staff. It also indicates she wants her staff to only charge offenses they intend to prosecute instead of overcharging defendants to force guilty pleas. Gonzalez encourages police to issue civil citations for marijuana possession instead of making an arrest. The approach is similar to decriminalization of weed in Atlanta, Savannah, Forest Park, and a handful of other Georgia cities and counties. In a statement, Gonzalez tells 11 Alive she was elected to do two things, prioritize serious violent crime instead of misusing resources on minor victimless offenses. Second, use proven approaches to reform a system that has failed to make our communities safer. Attorney General Carr also said yesterday elections have consequences and voters should pay attention to who they are electing as prosecutors. Gonzalez tells us she views violent crime as a serious problem and wants to work with Carr on addressing the issue if he can, quote, stop playing politics. Jeff. Joe Hankey, thank you. If there's something you want us to verify, send us an email. You can also text VERIFY to 404-885-7600.